Hi guys, today's workout is going to be um, interval training, 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, 7 different exercises and it's actually going, it's actually two of the exercises are bilateral so it's five different exercises and um, we'll repeat them twice so it's a 14 minute workout I may uh, shut the camera off and do a third round depending on how I feel and you can do the same you can rewind the second round and do a 21 minute workout um, I'll show you the exercises and we'll get started um, I'll include a little bit of um, stretching at the end if we have time so let's uh, first exercise you are going to need a deep station for this workout uh, first exercise requires the dip station and <clears throat> you take your dip station so we will have side burpee with side leg lift second exercise is the same on the opposite side third exercise is again dip station back lunge to leg lift I'll back it up a little bit so I don't go out of frame. Back lunge, two same side leg lift. So you're stepping back with your left leg, lifting your right leg. The next exercise, fourth, is the same thing on the opposite side. Um, after that, we set the dip station aside and we do snowboarders with mountain climbers. So we go one, two, three, jump back, one, two, three, four, and snowboarders, one, two, three, four mountain climbers. <clears throat> After that we have bridge, two-legged bridge, you can use weights if you want to, I generally think for 50 seconds of really concentrated bridge, pumps or booty, um, Bridge lifts is pretty good. You can be on your heels, really contracting your back section. <laughs> and um, the last one is again snowboarders with the dip station this time. So grab your dip station and we go one, two, three, lift. One, two, three lift so it's fair to say that this workout we can call it the obliques shape up because a lot of the leg lifts and even the side push-ups are going to target your obliques I already feel it so this was almost a warm-up for me and we'll get started uh, side burpee uh, to a dip station uh, oblique lift let's call it or side leg lift let's get started Three, two, one. push up side leg lift So I managed to do eight. Opposite side. One. Two. Three. Four. 
four. to the side two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, one, two, and that's thirteen. Opposite side. This is even cardio. Nothing too crazy. I generally make them a little. The, the exercise is usually if we do 50 second rounds are less intense. I think three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm twisting into the leg lift. Nine. Twisting at the top, then eleven, twelve. I think if I count it right, thirteen on both sides, snowboarders with mountain climbers. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 shoulders down which gives you an extra lift instead upper three-fourths of the move Snowboarders with the with the dip station. One, two, three. Leg lift. One.
once again a serious workout side burpee uh, with dip station. the lunch to I think we all developed a better glute connection during the body challenge because we isolated it borders with mountain climbers one two three one two three four two Thank you. 
this is almost like the rest bridge it's really not resting but it's less cardiovascular the bridge one Floor, last exercise, no border. Deep station. this would have to be this tough I pretty much would submit if I had to keep going totally fun let's stretch the quadriceps so extend your tailbone down and again I do feel like I should address that if you already have the if you're already tucked under your posture then don't don't tuck even further the tucking under is for those of us who tend to bring most of our back bends into the lower back and that can potentially damage the lower back it becomes painful for many people that over time they just bring opposite side they bring the back bending into the lower back we want to distribute it along the spine and focus on the upper back your knee pointing down so try not here to open keep it down even if it means you're using a strap and after a short break let's finish with some of uh, during our booty challenge which everybody loved and I seriously loved it because I was genuinely surprised by the results uh, not just the physical results by how physical results in terms of uh, not just looks of course in terms of strength and how my and everybody else said our hips felt the strength uh, the glutes the legs also I didn't notice physical change uh, but uh, during uh, during the 30 day uh, I actually um, found the value of um, focusing for 30 days a couple of times a year maybe we'll do once a year booty, once a year uh, upper body, core, maybe focus on some other uh, more specific body part for 15 days. Um, it wasn't repetitive and it wasn't um, redundant at all. It was, I kept changing uh, the workouts so that we're not hitting the same muscle groups the same way each and every day. And uh, because back in the day, uh, in the gym years, uh, you weren't supposed to hit the same muscle groups on the same day but when we do functional exercises we can do a lot more and develop a lot more actual real strength so 
Lay on your back, we're going to do one of the exercises I really liked and you're going to kind of twist, bring your legs over to your left and moving over an obstacle basically, just imagine there is an obstacle, let's go 20 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, really left, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, Excellent, let's do a twist or two. So bring your right knee on the floor, left leg on the outside, <clears throat> foot, right arm up, twist. I'm totally feeling this throughout my upper back since I haven't done twists in a few days. Stacking the knees, flexing the feet. If your top knee is here, that's okay. Just feel the stretch in your hip. You can lean forward, bend forward or not. Anything here is optional. The, what you want to go by is how you feel the stretch. You should just feel the stretch. It doesn't matter if you are completing the pose final version, opposite side, lift, twist, I'm bounding here because it helps me, but you don't have to, helps my shoulders, helps me get it, get the twist in the upper back as well, a little deeper there, Coming out, stacking the knees, coming out, plow. <laughs> Happy baby is um, optional instead of plow. <clears throat> Coming out, and let's do supine twist lay down, <sighs> right knee in and across. Keep your right shoulder down and move your hip away from your midsection. If this makes no sense to you, forget, forget that I said it, but if it makes sense, uh, you will know the value of it. You'll find it out eventually, so don't sweat it. If some of the terminology doesn't make sense for you, that's okay. Eventually things click opposite side. I think the whole point of yoga for me and for many is to let go of perfectionism and to just Accept what is. Because you want to give yourself freedom. You want to liberate yourself from your own from your own prison essentially. Coming out. Let's rock up. And shall we stretch the legs? Yes. 
Open your legs out and pull forward, fold. Coming up. Easy pose, you can sit on a pillow. allow your consciousness, your mind, your ego consciousness to drop, to drop into the present moment, to just fully see the moment so that you can embody this moment. Bring your hands over your solar plexus without touching your skin, just hands a few inches in front of the solar plexus. Breathe into your solar plexus. To me, this is your will center, willpower place. And when we connect to our willpower from a place of softness and acceptance, it becomes strength. We don't want to force things and bull our way into things we want to be powerful in who we are without the attachment to that power desire of outcome we still want to envision an outcome we just don't want to rob ourselves from the pleasure of the moment by just anticipating something in the future we can envision it and enjoy the vision of it so with that in mind Choose a mantra for yourself. Post in the comments below if you want me to, if you prefer, actually, let's do that voting. If you prefer for me to work with a mantra for everybody, and I'll just choose a mantra, and we, in each class we'll work with a mantra. Or if you prefer that it's um, an open, uh, open, um, we're open to um, selecting each our own mantra for the day and um, let me know how you prefer to do it I, I mix it in anyways but you can let me know so I know so select a mantra I'm beautiful I'm powerful I'm radiant I'm ecstatic particle in the universe I vibrate with with the joyous nature of the universe. Anything that is uplifting and just expanding, soul expanding or anything that's expanding your heart, choose a mantra and stay here with a positive mantra. Repeat it, definitely repeat it a few times so that you can stay in that positive place. Namaste. Namaste.